how to administer the injection of Fesgo. Fesgo should always be administered by a healthcare professional. Ask the patient to sit back in a reclining chair or bed and to make the thigh area accessible. Be sure to arrange your chair at the right level so that your feet are flat on the floor and you are able to sit up straight without twisting, bending or reaching to administer the injection. You will be in this position for approximately 5 to 8 minutes, so be sure you are comfortable and in a position that you can maintain. The injection site should be alternated between the left and right thigh only. It is never administered in the abdomen because this may lead to a lower concentration of fesgo in the blood. Do not split the dose between two syringes or between two sites of administration. Each new injection should be given at least 1 inch or 2.5 centimetres from the previous site. Choose an area of healthy skin that is not red, bruised, tattooed, tender or hard. During treatment with Fesgo, other subcutaneous medications should preferably be injected at different sites. To perform the injection, pinch the skin of the thigh with one hand to create a fold. This makes it easier to get the injection into the subcutaneous tissue and not into the muscle tissue. Inject and maintain the needle at an angle of about 30 degrees. Note that the injection can be somewhat stiff and tough at the start. The dose should be administered at a rate of no more than 2 milliliters per minute, so you can expect the loading dose to take approximately 8 minutes to administer, while the maintenance doses will take approximately 5 minutes. Most patients have a positive response to the process. If at any point during the injection a patient feels pain or discomfort, ease off the injection before continuing. Keep the needle in place and check to make sure that the needle is at the right 30 degree angle of injection. The injection should be slowed or paused if the patient experiences a significant injection related reaction. The injection should be discontinued immediately if the patient experiences a serious hypersensitivity reaction, for example anaphylaxis. The administration time presents a good opportunity to talk with the patient to get an overall sense of their well-being and to discuss any concerns they may be having. Once the full dose has been administered, wait briefly before removing the needle to minimize any potential leak back. After the loading dose, the patient should be observed for a minimum of 30 minutes for signs of hypersensitivity symptoms or administration-related reactions. After the maintenance doses, the patient should be observed for a minimum of 15 minutes. Make sure that medication to treat reactions, as well as emergency equipment, is available for immediate use.